Hi, I'm James. Toby. Jay. Lena. Matty. We're in the Isle of Man and, and you're, you're watching Fonfully. Good morning, guys. Got my coconut for breakfast. It's about 8.30 and we are about to get in some vehicles and head to the next destination. Uh, I slept very well, guys. I was out like a light. Mm. How are you doing this morning, Raya? Coconuts. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Sean, do you know the place we're going to? Do you know the name Bo. of it? Bo. We're going to Bo now. Okay, we're heading to Bo, and what is it, a four hour drive? Yeah, yeah. approximately. Approximately a four hour drive. Do you want to introduce Saar to everybody? Oh, uh, this is Saar, he's our guide. Are you hosting us? Yes. Cool. Saar's been. Communications officer for the agency. Ah. Saar's been in Bo setting everything up for us, so we know it's going to tell us the itinerary and where we're going. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And he's going to give us, he's going to show us where we are and what we're seeing as we drive all the way there. temperature thing from there. Guys, I cannot believe that. We got pulled over at that checkpoint and they just pointed this laser th thermometer at each of us to check our temperature um, and then let us go. And the reason they did is because one of the major signs of having Ebola is, um, you know, a raise in temperature. So they check as you're coming in, in and out of each town. <laughs> We've just been stopped again. This time we have to go and wash our hands. So the, the army have stopped us. Getting our temperatures taken again. Okay. 36.5. That's my temperature, 36.5. Can I have one? Rabban. Which is a good one, this one? Rabban, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rabban. You want one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rabban, Rabban. Uh, this, this one? Yeah. Cool, thank you. <laughs> Just got some corn for the road. We tried overtaking and getting around, but they've told us to go back. They've got a good system going on here, guys. It's e efficient. Getting our passports checked. Oh, the stamp. Why is it? Let me see you. I don't know what that was about. Um. We have to wash our hands before entering the hotel. We just came outside for lunch, but um, <laughs> the rains the rains just started again, and the table's getting a bit wet. So they suggested we go inside. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is better. This is a bit drier. <laughs> I got a shawarma plate. Chicken, spicy sauce, looking good. We've finished lunch and it's finally time to go out and see some projects. We've arrived. 
arrived at Kakama. This is the village we've arrived at. And these are all the people waiting to say hello. What a welcome, what a welcome. That was great. welcoming us um, so warmly and letting us see how this forum works. I must say it's really impressive the way you came together as a community to deal with the outbreak and you mentioned that there's still challenges like the crowding in schools and the economic hardships um, but hearing from how you dealt with this massive outbreak of such a terrible disease I've no doubt that any challenges that you face, you'll be able to cope with them really well. So we've just heard from some of the villagers and the elders from the area uh, about how they avoided Ebola in this area. Um, there was a couple of cases fairly nearby. Um, but yeah, it was cool just hearing from people and we're now going to get a little tour around the village from some of the children. Hello, I'm al Hajit Dauratifa, a student of Jimmy. We are here for a programme. We represent this, the key cities in voice and action, CVA group. I've given them my phone to chat to about themselves, so they're going to pass it around the group. I'm a student of Jimmy. I want, I want to be a bank manager in my future. My name is Jobo M. Shimbe from SLM Junior Secondary School in Nguyen Babo. I'm 16 years old. I want to become a president in the future. Although I'm continuing school, but my father cannot be able to pay my school fees because of a sickness called blindness. So that's all I have to say. I, I want to be an accountant in the future, but I don't have support in educating because I have lost my father in this year. So. So I need a support from you people. I want to continue my education in future. My name is Diana Lake. I'm living in Jimmy Bagua. I'm attending the Great Government Secondary School, Jimmy. My favorite poem is Abiku. I like to read poems. My name is Frances Ailevey. I'm from Jimmy Bagua. I'm attending Great Government Secondary School, Jimmy. I want to become a nurse in future. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lahai Sam. I am a student of the Great Government Secondary School, Jimmy. I am an art student boy. I want to become a lawyer in future. But I am sorry, my father is very old. Although he can try a little, but he cannot be able to afford everything for my schooling. My favorite game is football. I like eating rice and cassava, and cassava leaves. So those are my favorite things. I thank you all for coming and we wish to welcome you at any time. Thank you. This is your home. Yeah. Can you show us the village? Yes, sir. Okay, we, we, we can follow you. Show us around. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go. Okay. This is your <laughs> Ah, so this is the well. Look at that. Does yeah. it taste good? Is it good? Is it fresh? Yeah. Good water. Nice. There you go. What is that? Wow. 
I've never seen that before. Okay, let me try again. I know how to do it now. Okay. You can do it, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing at you. She's laughing at you. It's a lot of muscle. You should try it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Goat. Cooking dinner. Hello. This is what we were mashing up with that big stick. <laughs> Getting a little coconut drink. Oh, thank you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's sweet. Cheers, Raya. Cheers. Cheers, Sean. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for showing us around. Thank you, Charlie. Look at the village elder on the motorbike. See you later, mate. How amazing was that? I'm like so full of love right now. Everyone here is amazing. Bye. 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 <laughs> We've just pulled over to watch these kids play football. Me and Raya are eating in the room and then I'm gonna get on with some more editing. The internet is a little bit slower at this hotel so I'm not sure quite what to do. So hold tight guys, if the vlogs aren't coming out fast then it's because Sierra Leone internet isn't amazing. Well, I've been on a proper mission tonight guys. After dinner, I went over to the, uh, the headquarters of um, World Vision which is down the road to try and get my video uploaded. Got it 50% uploaded, took like two hours. I'm now back outside my hotel room uh, and the Wi-Fi like router is up there somewhere. So I'm just standing here waiting for the last 15 minutes and then it's gonna go live, yes. Um, but despite slow internet speeds, it's been an amazing day and uh, it was great earlier. I don't know if I fully explained what was going on, but the village we went to, uh, a lot of the children there and in the area are sponsored children from World Vision. So you can sponsor a child with World Vision and the community that that child lives in um, gets the money and it supports them and their family. So those um, communities were educated about Ebola and it was actually prevented from infiltrating a lot of those communities, which is amazing news. Um, they were taught kind of the procedures of how to protect against it and what to do if people contracted it and all of that. So really good education and World Vision were a big part of that. Um, we're gonna visit another project tomorrow. Uh, I don't know a lot about it, but it's uh, every day's uh, an eye opener at the moment and I'm excited for the rest of the week. Uh, it's like two in the morning and we're getting up at eight. So I'm gonna get some sleep and I'll catch you then. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.